The takeaway is not a film about dementia. The takeaway is how do you live a creative life no matter what? My name is Michelle Memron and I am a documentary filmmaker uh, who works creatively with people who have dementia. I spent a decade working with the playwright Maria Irene Fornes who is a visionary Cuban-American playwright, teacher, and director who was losing her memories, but not her creativity, to dementia. And her moment-to-moment -moment approach to creating and living by the time I met her when she had dementia made me see the world in a completely different way. The moment is a little a bit confusing, but on the other hand, I feel I am in good loving hands, four hands, two, loving hands to the right and two loving hands to the left. And a kind of interesting painting <laughs> behind. <laughs> I did not start off as a filmmaker, so I was a journalist. And I um, went to uh, interview this, my favorite playwright, and she agreed to meet me. And I showed up on the corner of Sixth and Waverly, and she wasn't there. And so I called her from the payphone and I was like, Irene, I'm here. And she was like, who are you? What? And I said, I'm, I'm Michelle, I'm interviewing you. And she said, okay, I'll be right out. And so that's, we sat down and we had a, a six hour lunch. So that was it. That was like a magic moment where we connected. And then whenever I was in the West Village, I'd call her up. I started asking questions when I went into her apartment for the first time. There was, you know, mold in the fridge. It just looked like, there was some neglect. So that's when I called her agent. And I just said, I just wanna see, you know, how she's doing. I'm, you know, I'm working with her. And that's when she told me that, you know, we think that she may have some kind of um, neurocognitive impairment or dementia. The big discovery for us was having an old Hi8 camera on Brighton Beach. And I asked her, does the camera make you uncomfortable? And she looked right in and it's this moment in the film where she says, ah, oh, the camera to me is my beloved, the one who wants me always, and I give everything I have to a camera. And that was the moment, you know? And so that's when I was like, maybe this is the thing. Cause she's writing, she's writing into the camera, but she's not, you know, sitting down and writing herself. It, it, it requires another person to be receiving. And we used the camera in all sorts of different ways. We used it as a letter writing device. We used it as a device for memory to show her you know what had happened the day before you know sometimes i'd give her the camera and i'd say you know tell me what you see it didn't require her to sit down and try to do something that she could no longer do i met her where she was at talking was was easy for her so just like let's have a camera there and see what happens i prefer not to hide anything i feel the moment i i want to hide something i say oh watch out if you expose Anything about you, the good, the medium, and the bad, you are a freer person, a healthier person. As her short-term memory was going, her long-term memory was becoming really vivid. So her memories of, you know, growing up in Cuba, she talked all the time about growing up in Cuba. She talked about the early days of Off-Off-Broadway in New York. And so part of this filmmaking process and this collaboration was taking her to those places and then replaying that for her also. Like I would take her to places for retrieval cues. Like, oh, we're going to this, you know, Judson Theater where she had her first play done. And she'd be like, oh my God, Judson. And that would strike up a whole conversation. We'd go somewhere in Cuba and she'd, the Malacón. And she'd go in the Malacón and she'd be like, oh my God. And all these stories would come out. The goal was to take the camera to wherever Irene's memory was living at the time. So when I first met Irene, she was living alone. And I'd say she was probably early to mid stage. And I ended up becoming really involved in her care into late stage. And eventually, you know, when she died in 2018, the creativity was the way in, the collaboration was the way in, but the, the friendship and the love is, you know, and her love of me allowed me to be present for all that time. Like we always think of as a caregiver, as a caregiver, we're giving so much, but the reciprocity in that process was was integral for me. I mean, I, I people always say, oh my God, you did so much. And I'll be like, are you kidding me? 
I mean, I got a master class in what it means to be a creative person. I wouldn't have been an artist had I not met Maria Irene Fornas.